Hi, I'm Paul Kitchen. I race with HMSA during the weekends, and during the week, I sell real estate in San Francisco with Team Nina Head Money. If you want to buy a house, come see me, and if you want to go fast, come see these guys. I'm Martin Lauber, and I drive a Titan Mark VI. So I'm Laurent Parmentier. I drive a 1970 Crossley 1620F. My name's Tom LaCosta. This is a Lola Formula Ford from 1970. It's a uh, T. My name is Ed Lauber. I drive a Titan uh, Mark IV 1969. My name is Dan Weiss and I'm uh, a troublemaker. I race a Club Ford. Uh, Club Ford is the, is the uh, group we run in and it's a Crosley 25F. It's built in 1973. My name is Michael Wirick. I have a 1975 Zinc Z10 Formula Ford. It runs in the Club Formula Ford class. I have a 1971 Titan Mark VI. And the reason we got the car was because there's a lot of them, so there's a lot of parts and there's a lot of support for it. This is Jim Cody. I'm here at uh, Laguna Seca Raceway with my Crosley 16F. It's a 1969. I've been racing it about four years and I'm here with HMSA. I'm Paul. And this is... I'm Jonathan. And we've been racing together. This is my father. We've been racing together for uh, three or four years now. Right. We both race uh, Lotus 61s yep. uh, in, in livery and we're excited to be here. Definitely. Looking forward to it. I just have to beat him. That's all. <laughs> he always does. My name is Jack Wilson. This is a Winkleman WDF3 from 1971. And this is my first time racing at Laguna Sega, so I'm very excited about the new track. My name's Andrew Waite. I drive a Lola T204, and uh, myself and the team put on the Cross World Cup. This is a uh, series for historic Formula Fords and Club Fords, and hopefully, you'll see why we're having uh, such a great time. I've tried hang gliding, I've tried parachuting, I've tried windsurfing, scuba diving, you name it, they're all this much fun. Car racing to me is this much fun. Formula Ford, uh, two reasons. One is a friend of mine uh, races Formula Ford and he says you've got to do this fabulous series that my buddy Andrew is putting together. All of our friends are in it, it's going to be the coolest thing ever. So I said, yeah, that sounds like fun. So the car was affordable and the racing was fun and the people are even better. Having my family around is the best thing ever. My son Ezra loves being at the racetrack more than anything and that makes it just so much more of a joy. I was racing at the racetrack, my dad raced for years and years and years um, and now I see my son enjoying it too and it's, it's wonderful. It's so much fun. I've been going to the races since 1968. Wilt is like the queen mother of Formula Ford racing. She is married to John Anderson. She helps the club. She helps the racers. She's a source of advice and comfort. And we just love having her at the races every time we see her. Thank you. So we start season two tomorrow, right? Woo! Woo! It's going to be an amazing year. We've got um, some phenomenal stuff lined up for everybody. But what I want to do right now is thank Gear. This is a phenomenal part. to this plan for the rest of the season. <laughs> make, make the most of it. Thank you very much for coming. Um, tomorrow's going to be epic and challenging, um, so keep that in mind. And uh, once again, thank you, Gear. This thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. things that really attracts me to this the whole racing is the camaraderie, the, the group of guys and the, the people that are here, not just on the track, but there's a lot of downtime when you're off the track, sitting around, and, and it's great to be with people that you enjoy uh, their company. And I look forward to the weekends. I try to find other reasons to come out and be with the guys and race, and uh, it's very enjoyable. Some of the most competitive racing there is. The people are absolutely great. It's a lot of fun because the cars are very, very equal. Everyone's on a level plane field, so the difference in the machinery and the uh, production-based cars can really be quite a big difference, and here it really isn't, so it's much more 
about the driver. I've been wanting to get into vintage racing for a very long time. I looked around in a number of different classes and Formula 4s were simply what I thought was best to start, best in terms of budget, value for money and speed. And I'd always wanted a car that kind of looked a little bit like a Formula 1 from the early 60s, the very sort of round shapes. Another big factor is I'm pretty tall and uh, this looks one of the few cars where actually I could fit. It's really a lot of fun. I think occasionally there's people that stand out. So this year we're starting a Spirit of HMSA Award. This year's Spirit of HMSA Award goes to Bob Baker. I just get a hell of a kick out of being here. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for your support over the years. Thank you all for coming. Amazing job that the the Crossflow guys have done, headed up by Andrew. 2019 is a watershed year for Formula Ford. I have convinced the powers of be to have Formula Fords at the reunion in 19. safe in the event of fire. So we're wearing, uh, depending on the suit that you have, um, fireproof underwear, long john, a two to three layer suit or a one layer suit if, you, if you've got the budget for that. Balaclava, fireproof gloves, and then fire resistant uh, shoes and socks. <laughs> Of 
of the West Coast Formula Ford Series. after the race because we have a minimum weight we have to stay in because of course the less the car weighs the faster it goes you don't want to be under that minimum weight so for this car is 1125 I just waited at 1139 which means I gotta go take some weight out I wanted to say that was outstanding I got to watch some just phenomenal phenomenal driving and I talked to a few other people further back who got to spectate at the scene of, of, of some of these dices and it was absolutely awesome. Well done. So give yourselves a hand. That was great. Yeah, great stuff. Okay. First place in Club Ford, Todd Strong. The, um, get the, the trophy winners up here, grab a bottle of champagne. Everyone needs to step back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a tradition, we do it no matter what, so come on up. Oh, we got the chips. I want to chips.